Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. I'm Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And today, let's create a 50k likes animation. Like graphic on Elu. I'm convinced that you saw that keyrings animations are really popular. In this tutorial today, I will show you how you can create and animate them in the Chrome holographic texture. We combine this trend with a poster animation. You will learn how you can create this background really quickly and easily and how you can use them in Blender. Woo! Let's go guys! The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Find the code in the video and get free project files. Good luck guys! Alright, let's start with the tutorial. And first we will create the wow lettering. And for this we need the text. And here you can write now a term of your choice. I choose wow. And here we also change the depth to 30, 40. And also the subdivisions to 15. And here under font you can change the font of your choice. The name of the font is Break Secret. I will link you the font in the caption. And I think this is a good font to recreate this project. And now we also change the horizontal spacing by 15. And now we go under caps around the edges. And here we choose a size of 20. And for subdivisions we choose 10. Now we duplicate the text. Uh, we rename the layers to outside and inside. Choose text outside. And here we change the size of the round to 3.44. We put also a check mark to extrusion. Here we choose a value of 9. And we also choose outside bevel to get this cool result here. And now we go back here to the object tag and we change here the depth to 50. That is a little bit bigger than the inside text. Now we make out of both a current state object to get all letters on her own and then we can transform them. The text here you can make it invisible and keep it as a backup if something go wrong. But I already did the project before, so I deleted it. And now you can open here the layers. And as you can see, you have all uh, letters for the own. And now we choose of both outside and inside the O. We use the scale tool and scale it a little bit down. And then we bring it to the side like this. And now we take the W inside and outside and bring it also to the side. So it's important that you don't see the white uh, frame anymore here between the letters because it have to be a letter frame. <laughs> so yeah, that looks good now. In the next step, you take all letters from inside, press with the right mouse button on it and choose connect object plus delete. Bring it then to the top. This you can delete now and rename it to inside. Now we will remesh everything. It's important to save your file now. Okay, now we need a volume builder and volume mesher. Put the volume builder under the mesher and then the inside. And now we remesh everything. And here for voxel size, we choose a value of 0.5 to get this result. It's important that the white frame is not visible. We use SDF smooth to smooth everything out. And here we choose under voxel distance 4. And now we get this cool result here. All right, now you can connect all outside letters. Connect object plus delete. Rename it to outside again. Put it to the top. Delete the null objects here. And now you can also create out of this a current state object and delete the volume builder and volume measure and rename it to inside. Perfect. That's it for the wow lettering. Now we will create here the chain in the center. And for this, we need first a torus. We need a ring radius of 10 and the pipe radius of 3. And then we rotate everything by minus Z. And then we bring it to the right position. Do something like this. In the next step, we duplicate the torus. Go here under the object tag. And here we change the 
ring radius to 9 and the pipe radius to 2. Now we rotate the ring here by 90, bring it to the top. And now we need the cloner tool, put the torus under it. Under object you choose linear. Now take the cloner here and bring it again here to the right position. Change sometimes. Now we need a count of 20 and we change here the position y value to 14 to get this result. And now we rotate everything here by 90 degrees to get this perfect chain here. And we have also rotate everything. So we go under the transform tag and here we rotate the whole cloner by 90 degrees and put it to the right position. Now we tidy up a little bit again, rename the cloner to chain, create a null object, uh, rename it and put everything there inside that we get a clean window here. All right, now we can make it invisible to create our other objects. And in the next step, we create here the key rings. And for this, we need first a helix spline. You find it here. And here you change the start radius to 20 and the end radius also. Then you change the start angle to 30 degrees and the height to 6. Change it to XZ to see what happened. We have now the perfect key ring ring. <laughs> and now we need a circle spline. Here we change the radius to 1.5 and we also need a sweep and we put balls under it to get the key ring. Create again a null object, rename it to key ring, duplicate the key ring, rename it to 1 and 2. Now make the wow plus chain visible again and put the rings to the right position. Do something like this. All right, now make everything invisible again. And now we will model the key. And for this, we need a cylinder. Change here the radius to 20, the height to 3, the height segments to 10, and the rotation segments to 49 to get this cylinder here. Now we go also under caps. We press fillet. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, in the next step, we create out of it a current state object. Now we go here in this view. Go to display and sh um, shading lines to see the segments here. Then we select the area selection. And now we can select the points. And this cylinder we can delete. This is the backup cylinder, but this one. And now select this part here, like this. You need four of them. Go now in this view and take it out like this. Now take the scale tool and scale it a little bit bigger to get this result here. Perfect. Now go back here to the model selection and to this shading again. Now we need a new cylinder to create the keyhole. Here we change the radius to 3.5 and the height to 5 and bring it now to the right position. Duplicate this cylinder now, change the radius to 1.5 and the height to 54 and change the rotation to minus X and bring it now here to this position. Now duplicate this cylinder, bring it a little bit down and change here the radius to one. And now we need the bool tool here and put everything under it. This is really important to bring everything to work. Now select everything, press with the right mouse button on it and press connect object plus delete. Now go here to the for view window and now we need this one here. Make it big. Now we take the pen tool here on the side and draw here some zigzags, zigzags like this. Then bring it here up, maybe some more like this. Get here the cuts and take around and connect it again. Now you can go back in the main view. Change here to the model view again. We need the extrude tool and we extrude the spline. Then go here under the extrude tool, change the offset to 7, like this. And now we create again uh, holes with the bool tool. So take first the whole key and then the extrude. And as you can see, here some issues now. Uh, that's because of the uh, extrude tool here. You have to bring it to the right position, like this. 
And now we have the key. Okay, the result is really unpretty. You can go to the spline here and select the points again and you can fix it and make it a little bit better. All right, okay, now I'm more happy with the result. Okay, in the next step we put the lettering here, slay on the key. And for this we need again the text tool. To go here under the object, here we change the depth to 3 to see something. Now we write slay and we change the height to 10. Yeah, now we can see everything. And now we change the lettering. I choose something simple, yeah, like Oswald. Now we go again to caps. Here we change the value to round again to 1.5 and subdivisions to 10 and bring the text to the right position. You can uh, rotate them under the coordinates by 90 degrees. Okay, that looks good. And first we have to select everything, connect object plus delete, and now rename it to key. In the end, we create the circle plate here, make the key invisible again, create here a new cylinder, change the radius to 20 and the height to 3. The height segments to 10 and the rotation segments to 49. And we also bevel here everything with the fillet tool, like this. Now we need a second cylinder to create a hole. Go here under the object tag and change the radius to 3.5 and the height to 5 and bring it to the right position again. And in the next step we need the bool tool, put everything under it other way around to create the hole. And in the end, we create a text again. Here we change first the depth to four and the height to 10 to see something. Now we change here the text to 2024 in my case. And here I also changed to the font Oswald like this. Now we go to caps. Here we change again to 1.5 and segments to 10 or subdivisions in this case, and we rotate everything under coordinates again. Here minus 90, and here 90, up and to the right position. And if you are ready, connect object plus delete, and rename everything. Like this. Alright, now make everything visible again, and bring the missing elements to the right position. For the key, Go here under the coordinates, we have to scale it bigger, because I think it's too small. 1.5 in all axes is good, and bring it to the po right position, do something like this. And take now the circle plate, also scale it in all axes by 1.5, and bring it also to the right position. In the last step, we insert a camera. We go here under the render settings and we ch change the values to 1080 by 1080 pixels. It's the square format yeah, like graphic on ELU use. To your check mark. We are ready with the 3D objects, guys. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> with over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon. Link is in the caption. The animation. All right, let's start with the animation part. And here we have to connect first everything together to get no issues when we animate it and to make it much easier. <laughs> and for this, we have to open first our uh, material manager. And I already created two materials. I named it inside and outside. And this one is gray. And this one is white to see where the material is. And here inside is on the wow, the white material and everything, the rest. And only outside is gray. When you are ready, take everything, but not the camera. <laughs> like this. And press with the right mouse button on it and connect object plus delete. If you want to have a backup, press connect object and then make the other things invisible. But now we have one object now. And in the next step, we press here to go out of the camera view. Then we set now the origin here on the top. And for it, we have to press the button here and bring it to the right position. 
Like this, when you're ready, press the button here again and go back in the camera view and go now on the coordinates. We can now animate it here really easy. So now we go to frame 30, insert now a keyframe. Now it's automatically set everywhere here. And now we go to the beginning of the animation and take this rotation and rotate it so long if it's out of the render region. And when you are happy, Press here the icon to set the keyframe. You see it now, like this. And now we also, uh, four degrees more or four degrees less all the time to make it more realistic that it pendle a little bit. So here plus six and here again minus minus two, for example. It's not really necessary how much it only have to swing a little bit like this. So you can also go here to the keyframes and rotate it a little bit like here and here also. I think the 90 frames is too less. We have to increase it to 150. Sorry guys. And now take the keyframes and take bigger distances between it. Something like this. All right, let's do it this way. That looks good now. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. The materials. Now, so before we start with the material part. The important thing is the poster background. I already created one. You can use it. Feel free, guys. You can find it on my Patreon for free. And for the YouTube and Patreon members, I have a texture pack. Symbols with transparent background. You drag and drop it here inside to create posters like this. I also use it here. You have only scale it up and bring it to the right position. And if you hit Command E, it's change or invert the color also here in Photoshop. It takes only 10 minutes to create this poster design. So if you want it, guys, feel free to take it. You find the link under the member videos or on Patreon. You will see it as a member. <laughs> All right. If you are ready, go back to Cinema 4D. Open the render view. It looks now like this because we already created here the two materials. And first we work with a dome light. Hit then add graph. This one here it looks now like this. Really cool. And here we increase the intensity by 1.5. Become a member on YouTube and get access to the member only videos and to all missing textures to finish this project. There you also get access to the secret color adjustment videos. Get this mesmerizing result only in a few minutes and free softwares. Become a pro now and bring your animations to the next level. Link is in the caption. And that's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.